beautiful southern coast of India. Here the usual morning visual is the beholding sight of hard-working fishermen for whom work and pleasure goes hand in hand. Their typical day starts early. Fishing, harvesting, cleaning nets and taking the stock to the market are all parts of their daily routine. On 26 December 2004, people in the Indian Ocean Basin were in for a rude shock. They confronted an unprecedented catastrophe, the Indian Ocean Tsunami. Over 2,40,000 people lost their lives, the highest toll in recorded history. In just a few hours, stunning the world with its destructive power, the tsunami struck every country in the Indian Ocean. Wrecking massive damage along coast and causing deaths in 11 countries and displacing tens of lakhs of people. Indonesia, Sri Lanka and Southeast India were the worst hit. For most of the public of the Indian Ocean region, before 2004, tsunami was just a geographical Japanese term. Su meaning harbour and Nami meaning waves. 2004 was the first time this catastrophe visited countries in Indian Ocean and changed their perception once and for all. There is little doubt that thousands of lives could have been saved if an alert system had been placed in the Indian Ocean region similar to that operating in Pacific Ocean region. People commonly move and travel, so it is possible for anybody to be on or near a coast when tsunami strikes. Since most large destructive tsunamis are generated by big earthquakes, therefore it is important to understand the causes of earthquakes. One of the most popular theory explaining earthquakes is the plate tectonic theory. A small number of lithospheric plates collectively make earth. These plates float on viscous underlayer called the asthenosphere. These plates cover the entire surface of the earth the continents and the seafloor. They are constantly moving relative to each other at an extremely slow pace, about 4 inches in a year. Earthquakes are mostly generated by movements along the fault zones of plate boundaries. The place where two plates come into contact are called plate boundaries. Plates move in different ways relative to each other. Spreading, here two plates move away from each other. Transform, in this movement, the plates slide past each other horizontally. In the third movement, the plate moves towards each other and one slides underneath the other. This is called subduction. Almost 80% of the total energy released worldwide by earthquakes occur in subduction zones, where oceanic plate slides under a continental plate or another young oceanic plate. When one plate subducts under the other, the overriding plate gets squeezed. Its leading edge is dragged down while the area behind bulges upwards. This movement goes on for decades, even centuries, slowly building up stress. The magnitude of earthquake is measured on various scales, but for the majority of purpose, richer scale is referred for measure of the energy released in the earthquake or the intensity of the earthquake. Being a logarithmic scale, one unit change in the magnitude correspond to tenfold increase in seismic wave amplitude and thirtyfold increase in energy released.
For tsunami to happen, the fault where earthquake occurs must be underneath or near the ocean. Earthquake along subduction zone happen when the leading edge of overriding plate breaks free and springs seawards, raising the seafloor and water above it. The earthquake causes the vertical movement of the seafloor over a large area. As the land mass shifts, the wave becomes broader. One part of the wave heads across to the ocean towards distant shore. The other part races towards the nearby land, growing taller as it comes. The tsunami has been started. Tsunami waves are distinguished from ordinary ocean waves by great length between the wave crusts. The wave crust in the tsunami sea could be hundreds of kilometers long. Tsunami waves can travel at a speed of a commercial plane that is 800 kilometers per hour. Tsunamis can move from one side of an ocean to the other in less than a day, unnoticed by the ships at sea. Tsunami cannot be noticed from the air. In shallow water, tsunami spread is reduced as the wave height increases rapidly and wave becomes compressed. Its speed also reduces as it approaches the coast. The maximum height of the tsunami reaches on the shore is called its run-up height. That is the height of a wave at the shore above the normal sea level. When the tsunami reaches the coast, distance the tsunami floods is called inundation. Erosion is the other way a tsunami damages the land structures, where the strong transmission-induced currents lead to erosion of foundation and collapse of the building structures. Flooding by each wave can last from 10 minutes to 45 minutes and the dangerous period of successive waves can last for hours. Therefore, one must retreat to the coast only after the all clear from competent authority. As it is presently not possible to predict the earthquake, therefore determining when a tsunami will occur is impossible as well. However, a tsunami early warning system detects potentially dangerous earthquake and provides immediate early warning to countries which may be hit. Waves attack coast near to the source of an earthquake in minutes. Your shaking of ground is the only warning that the trouble might be on the way. For people on shores which are distant from the tsunami source, accurate warnings of when the waves might strike are possible because tsunami travels at a known speed. Knowledge can save lives. After the 2004 tsunami, countries across the world have united to protect people from tsunami and spread awareness. Every underwater earthquake does not generate tsunami and false alarm can make people complacent. This would make the warning system redundant as people would not take it seriously and lives would not be saved in the event of a tsunami. Big or small, people should respect tsunami. On one coast, it might cause only ripple but might erase the other completely. To create the warning system, seismic activity is monitored regularly. In the event of an earthquake, its impact on the sea is monitored. Tide stations have been established on the coast to monitor and transmit regular changes in the sea level. Though they are cheaper to install and maintain, tide stations have their own limitations. The cages are all located at the shore. Although they can warn of approaching local tsunamis, they cannot predict the development and impact of distant tsunamis. To solve this problem, deep water instruments are also placed at certain places in the ocean. They are called Deep Ocean Assessment and Reporting of Tsunamis. 
Each system comprises of a bottom pressure sensor which rests on the ocean floor anchored by weight. As the tsunami waves passes, the sensor detects an increase in pressure caused by the weight of the added volume of water. The bottom pressure sensor transmits the reading via sound waves through the water to the nearby surface bore, which in turn transmits the data to satellite. Satellite relays the information to the land receiving station, then it is sent to several tsunami warning countries. Scientists analyze the data, estimate the earthquake magnitude and watch for reports from the tide stations in the quake area, which tells them whether tsunami waves has raised the water level of a coast and if there could be a tsunami hazard to other areas. This type of warning system could have saved tens of thousands of people at distant shores from the source in the 2004 tsunami. Next time, when the tsunami strikes in the Indian Ocean, there will be a warning system in place to detect it and alert coastal communities to the impending threat. The rapidly developing Indian Ocean Tsunami Warning and Mitigation System is based on national tsunami warning centers which are being established in 29 countries around the Indian Ocean Rim. Tsunamis are a threat to life and property for all coastal communities. As they can strike any time, people should always be prepared. Those who live inland should also know the do's and don'ts and how to survive a tsunami. Tsunami would be a threat to anyone on the coast. Therefore, every person should be aware of the safety rules which can help them in the event of a tsunami. All earthquakes do not cause tsunami, but many do. When you hear that an earthquake has occurred, stand by for a tsunami emergency message. All tsunami warnings to the public must be taken seriously. Tsunami has killed people because some took the warnings as false alarm and stayed put. Earthquake in your area is one of nature's warning signals. Do not stay in a low-lying coastal area after a strong earthquake has been felt. Tsunamis are sometimes preceded by noticeable fall in sea level. As the ocean retreats seaward, noticing exposure of seafloor move upwards away from low-lying coastal areas. A road like an incoming train may sometimes be heard as tsunami waves rushes towards the shore. It is nature's way of warning. Tsunami is not a single wave but a series of waves. Stay out of danger areas and only return after an all clear is issued by competent authority. There could be a small tsunami in your area. Do not let modest size of one make lose respect for all. Never go to the shore to watch tsunami. When you see the waves, you are too close to escape it. Never try to surf tsunami. Most tsunamis are like flash floods, full of debris and they do not curl or break like surf waves. Tsunamis visit every coastline. Be prepared and know the nature's warning signs. Earthquake, retreating off sea, exposing sea floor, roaring sound of a coming train. During tsunami emergency, local civil defense, police and other emergency organizations will try to save your life. Cooperate with them. Tsunami waves are imperceptible in the open. Do not return to port if you are at sea and a tsunami warning has been issued. Listen to Marino radio reports for when it is safe to return to port. Emergencies often arrive with little or no warning and they can cause extensive damage. But advanced preparations can make a lot of difference.
the difference between life and death by possessing the right information and acting on it and then for sure there would be another day.